Hey folks, welcome back. Who feels like guilt-free comfort food? This week, we're going to be making my spin on a butter chicken or tikka masala. Now, the two recipes are so similar that it's easy to blur the lines between them, but people will still disown you if you get it wrong, which is a topic I would like to talk about in another episode, but for now, I'm hungry. In a large bowl, add your yogurt, cumin, paprika, cardamom, coriander, turmeric, chili, garam masala, and salt. Garlic and ginger are spices, so mince up some garlic and peel some fresh ginger and add them to the mix. Then blend until smooth. Cut your chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces. Don't stew with chicken breast unless you're afraid of flavor. Add it to the mix. Combine thoroughly and let it sit covered in the fridge for 3 hours up to 24 hours. Prep your spices in advance. Everything is the same as before except cumin. I'm gonna mince the ginger this time for texture, but feel free to grate yours. And we may as well dice the onion now while the knife's out. Tikka masala is usually made in a tandoori oven, but who owns one of those? So melt some ghee in a pan and add a layer of chicken. Give it two minutes to crust and then flip. And continue on in batches so you don't overcrowd the pan. You'll have some flavor building up on the bottom of the pan that we don't want to burn. So add some water to deglaze, pull it off from the bottom and save the crunchies for later. Re-season your pan and carry on your mission. You should be left with a tower of delicious chicken that you can't eat because it's still raw inside. Add your gravy ghee and then start to bloom your cumin seeds. Give it about 60 seconds to start sizzling, then toss in the rest of your spices. Add your onions and stir, trying to pull up the toasted marinade as you go. And when the onions soften, you can add your crushed tomato. And because canned tomatoes can be more bitter than fresh, we need a bit of honey. And then you can add your heavy cream Scrape out any remaining yogurt marinade and combine. Add back some crunchies to taste, then reintroduce the chicken. Let it simmer on low for 20 minutes and then finish off with dried fenugreek. Then stick it in a container along with your favorite rice recipe. And there you go, folks. Now this is a little bit more on the tikka side than the butter chicken side. If you make it on your own at home, you can argue in the comments on what you think it should be called. Now this recipe is a little bit more complicated than what I would normally do for a meal prep. If you're up to the challenge, enjoy. Otherwise, this is something that I normally reserve for impressing friends when they come over, or if I'm invited to a potluck and I'm very, very competitive. If you notice any mistakes that I made, or if there are any recipes that you want to see me try, please leave a note in the comments below. Otherwise, if you tried this out on your own, let me know how it goes. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.